college, it kind of just grabs you and doesn't let go. I kind of think of it as a roller coaster, so there isn't really time to stop and think. You're just caught up and you're just having such fun. I think we're so lucky to have the opportunity to study here at Cheltenham College, from the great teachers to the amazing modern facilities, and all this on such a beautiful campus. Cheltenham College is just such a great school to be at. You've got two teachers per subject, um, and all those teachers are seriously supportive in homework and their lab doors, I do science, so their lab doors are always open for you to um, come and ask questions. I think the main thing in terms of support for academics is your tutor. Um, I know personally my tutor is extremely supportive even when I'm not doing too well, um, and it really, really helps to have that backbone to try and ask advice on and and I look forward for advice, it's really, really helpful. Chapman College is filled with libraries. Um, every single department has one, um, including boarding houses. I also work in the main library um, in Quad, which has recently been done up and it's awesome. It's awesome to work, a really good environment. Our excellent support includes one-on-ones with our careers advisors to help us with UCAS forms and careers after college. There's also a really large careers fair with potential employers from lawyers to politicians and we've had several careers talks from former students who are now really successful in the working world. For those who are interested we also have an Oxbridge programme and in this you'll receive an individual mentor allocated to your subject. So at college there's loads of different options to enhance our A-levels including the electives programme which is run in the lower sixth. Um, that can include options like the mini MBA but also community work. So I do, I'm a sports coach at a local primary school and I do that on my Wednesday afternoons and I find that a really rewarding experience yeah. going out into the community last and year, volunteering. Last year I went to a local care yeah. home um, once a week every week and we did activities such as painting, music, we did have an afternoon tea activity and it's just it's a really nice way of kind of getting out of the college bubble and getting to share all the you know we're in such a privileged environment the fact we get to go out with other members of the community and help them is really rewarding. In your boarding house you'll have your house parents so boys that's your house master, girls that's your house mistress. There's also a resident tutor who lives with their family um, which is really nice because that brings a family feel to the house and um, yeah it's just really nice because they're always around to approach about pretty much anything. One of the best things is having your friends around all the time and also just the bonds that you make are really unbreakable because you're you're always around each other, you you just really you get to enjoy thick each and other. You do, you do, yeah, you do thick but you do. It's a good, good way to describe yeah. it. Because yeah. obviously like we're not going to make out that everything's fun and everything's like fantastic but it is really nice to have that supportive group of people around you at all times. That you always know you can come back to and they'll be there for you. A day house at college is very similar to a boarding house in that you get uh, the same close friendships, the same support networks, you have your house parents, your tutors, um, your house prefects, um, and it's still a physical house that you go to in the morning and you leave your things there and it's very much part of community. There are so many options to do music and drama at college, so at the moment we're both involved in the college play. You have upper college play, lower college plays. Last year we had a whole school play. Um, we've done some amazing productions such as Les Mis. When it comes to the music side of it, there are so many opportunities you have. We have about a million school choirs that you can be a part of. Um, chamber choir, the normal chapel choir, as well as I Sing and Jig, which is the jazz band, which you do loads of pop music, that's really fun. This year we became an all Steinway school. Um, we've got two concert grands. We've got three model A's, which are effectively pretty much just as good. They, they're incredible. And then we've also got three practice grand pianos. Again, unbelievable to, to play on. Every Wednesday, pupils are able to join the CCF, which is called the Combined Cadet Force. Um, and it allows you to experience um, what the army might be like as a possible career in the future. Um, and as you get older and as you go up the ranks, you lead the younger years, so it really helps with leadership.
During the autumn term, boys play rugby and girls play hockey as their main sport. In the spring term, and boys tend to play hockey and girls play netball. And in summer, most boys play cricket and girls tennis. But this summer, girls can play cricket too, as so we have just established our first girls cricket team. You can also do multi-sport if you're not too keen about doing hockey or cricket in the spring and summer term and you go to the gym and you play sports like football um, and it's really really fun, it's much more flexible so it gives people an upper sixth and lower sixth like some freedom when it comes to sport. After our matches on the Saturday we often have socials which usually include what's music and a DJ, DJ and a DJ. bit of a party. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> it's a nice chance to socialise and relax Yeah. and if you don't have a social you can the afternoon and evening is pretty much yours. For example, on a Saturday night, we can go out to dinner at an approved restaurant or go to the cinema with our friends. But obviously with that freedom, we learn to become more responsible because you realise that you're representing college wherever you go. I think like between us probably yeah, 24, 24 hours. hours. The 24 hours a charity event at Prefects organised at the beginning of the academic year and it involves us raising money for a charity. This year we chose Vincent Bush as a charity. Yeah, so basically so, we all, um, the prefects ran for the whole 24 hours from 7 that evening to 7 the following day. What well, I really like, liked about that yeah. as well is it didn't just involve prefects, like the whole school got involved. Oh, yeah. That was a colour run, where the whole six 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 run, yeah. We have chapel on a Sunday evening and everyone had sat down and then the prefects all lined up and walked in. And it was just really nice that like everyone was cheering us everyone and clapping. In, and our, it was just in our t shirts, colours, yeah. 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 paint, face paint, and stuff. <laughs> that sweaty. was really nice. That was so nice. Yeah. Yeah. It felt really, really rewarding. Like, it did. That yeah. was such a great experience. I think that here you get such a wide range of opportunity. And even yeah, if you join in lower sixth and don't know you're good at something, you mm. automatically have the chance to try it. And you, find you could end up finding something you'd love because there's so many options for things It doesn't you can just try. support one type of individual. It's not yeah. for it's not it's not just for the sporty people. Mm. It's not just for the insanely bright. It's not just it's for the for musical. Everyone. everyone can be involved. And it, you everyone leaves as an all-rounder. 